I have always seen difference of opinion in group of engineers for consideration of fixed support versus pin support. In this short clip, we will discuss different support conditions to be considered while analysis of the structure. When started my career, I asked the question to my senior that I saw difference of opinion between structural engineers regarding support conditions for the structure at base. I also asked what happens if the support condition we considered is not appropriate. He replied that nobody knows what happens to the foundation when it is buried in the soil unless and until some distress observed in the structure uh, may be due to settlement of the foundation. So I was curious about the support condition in analysis of the structure from the uh, beginning of my career. During the journey of my career, many engineers have asked me this question that what shall be the appropriate support condition, whether it should be pinned or fixed. So in my opinion, in the absence of knowledge of pedestal and foundation stiffness, IS 800 2007 is a good reference for deciding support condition. Clause number 4.3.4 of IS 800 2007 shall be referred for the support condition. It identifies base stiffness for different conditions. Since IS 800 2007 is for steel structure design, it defines support conditions at top of RCC pedestal and at bottom of RCC pedestal. Okay, so let's start with support condition at top of RC pedestal. When steel column is connected rigidly to RC pedestal, then stiffness of column above base plate should be considered. In case of very steep pedestal in foundation, the column may be assumed as fixed. If column is nominally connected uh, to the foundation, then 10% of column stiffness uh, may be assumed. And if there is actual pin or rocker is provided between steel column and pedestal, then steel column is assumed as hinged at base. Now let's see quickly the support condition at the bottom of RC pedestal for different conditions. Obviously, when actual pin or rocker is provided between steel column and pedestal, then pedestal is assumed as hinged at base. We can consider pedestal as fixed when uh, foundation consists of group of piles with the pile cap, rubbed foundation, or an isolated footing resting on rock or say very hard soil. When isolated footing rest on medium or soft soil, pedestal is assumed as hinged at bottom footing. In case pedestal is supported by a single pile, then pile shall be assumed as fixed at a depth of 5 times the diameter of pile from the compact soil. And if pedestal is founded into rock, then it may be assumed as fixed at the interface of column and rock. Okay, so this was a quick understanding of clause number 4.3.4 of IS 800 2007. You can refer this clause for more details. A few other considerations for support conditions will be added in part 2 of this video. Please write down your comments for this topic or you can also mention areas for which such clips to be prepared. Thank you.